And salutations to all you folks out there. It's time for a check-in video. Uh, partially because there's a lot of stuff I need to discuss and partially because I feel like I owe you guys a video because there hasn't been one on the channel in two or three days. So on the, on the list of topics to talk about, uh, the primary one is YouTube and how everything is working out of late. Um, I guess I'm just going to freeform ramble it because there's not really any other way to do it and you know that that's that's the way I do things I just kind of ramble it out and it makes sense later hopefully um so when I started doing videos full-time as a job the way that I pictured everything working was I stream on twitch and then I pull games from twitch and put them on youtube after editing and cleaning things up and you know adding a few things here and there and everything works out perfectly in your head and the problem with this is twofold. And part of it is the format of YouTube, like the type of audience that is on YouTube versus the audience that's on Twitch. And the other problem is the platform of Twitch itself. And yes, I'm talking about the algorithms here because YouTube has just become trashed here in the last, I, I don't even know, year or so. It's gotten significantly worse. And I'll talk about that in just a minute. But there's a couple reasons that I've been having issues getting content to YouTube. It's not for lack of footage because I've been streaming six to eight hours a day, five days a week, and we're having an excellent time on Twitch. With Twitch, there, there's a link in the description, by the way, if you want to see what I'm talking about or some of the stuff has been pulled directly from Twitch, like the RimWorld series that I started and I'm not finishing for reasons I'll explain in a minute. Um, where there's a certain kind of interaction that happens on Twitch because of the immediacy of it. And as a specific example, yesterday I had a two plus hour phantom game happen. And to be honest, the game itself was one of the worst phantoms that I've ever seen. So the recent Faf Balance patch broke Black Ops, and so Overcharge doesn't work anymore. Like, it just doesn't work. And this is not a good thing when you have a monkey lord crawl into your base out of the ocean, and you run forward with three commanders expecting to overcharge it to death, and then your overcharges just don't pan out. Like, th this is not the ideal situation. So I died... 18 minutes-ish into a two-hour Phantom game. So I'm just sitting there watching the rest of the game. And then it took another hour and a half or so for the Phantoms and the last couple of Innocents to grind each other to pieces and eventually finally kill each other after the entire battlefield is wrecked. So it was anticlimactic and it was bug-ridden and it was bad. It was just a bad game. But the good thing about it was we had nine people in the chat and then we had another hundred or so in the Twitch chat, and we had this amazing discussion going. It was almost like a podcast. We were talking politics. We were talking game mechanics. We were griping about this, that, and the other thing. It was a good time, but it was a good time on Twitch. And if I uploaded that to YouTube, it would probably be one of the worst viewer experiences you would ever have. So that's one side of the problem, is that good content on Twitch is not the same thing as good content on YouTube. And then also for every four or five Supreme Commander games that I play, there's maybe one that's worth uploading to YouTube. And I mean like really worth it where good things happen and there's amazing moments and funny things taking place. And Supreme Commander isn't a game that's easily edited together. So I can't really do a whole lot of uh, highlight reel type content, you know, pulling moments from multiple games to make a good experience because each game is its own story. It's not like a, it's not like a shooter where any given climax moment in a firefight is just like any other climax moment. And then when you take the game to the win, you know, like if it's PUBG and you get a chicken dinner, you know, you, you play the whole last five minutes on cut or something like that. It's, it's just not like that in Supreme Commander. So I've been struggling to find good Supreme Commander games that are worth putting on the YouTube channel, worth your time to watch for you, this audience specifically. Um, and then if you move outside of Supreme Commander, there's a lot of stuff 
that you can do in a let's play situation, you know, a playthrough of RimWorld with a certain theme, a playthrough of Frostpunk, a playthrough of this, that, or the other thing. The problem is YouTube's algorithm. So when I try to upload things that are not Supreme Commander to the channel, there is this trend that I had observed before, and I've never seen it as distinctly as I saw it about a month ago, um, where YouTube shotguns a channel if videos on that channel start drawing lower viewership. It's not that they filter by the content, by the title, by the game that's in the, in the video. They shotgun the whole channel. And so for specific numbers on this, um, when I started uploading RimWorld, when I was out of town for a couple weeks, I had a video every single day on YouTube. It alternated Supreme Commander RimWorld every other day for the entire trip that I was gone. I almost doubled the amount of videos that were on the channel. I had a 35% reduction in total views. And that is because RimWorld obviously isn't going to get watched as much as Supreme Commander because you guys are mostly here for Supreme Commander. Uh, and I was expecting that. Like, I'm happy with just a few people watching RimWorld. The content is there. It doesn't cost me anything but a little bit of effort to put it up on the YouTube channel. And, you know, that that is all fine. I'm not asking for a ton of viewership. But it kills me when YouTube sees, oh... This RimWorld video that you just published only got, you know, 350 or 400 views. So we're going to take the next Supreme Commander video that you put out and we're just not going to serve it to anyone. And instead of getting the 2,500-ish views that you normally get, you're only going to get seven or 800, maybe 1,000 over the course of a week, which is what I would typically get in 24 hours. And that is infuriating. It's like you put in extra effort and you try to expand your horizons to see what you can do and what kind of audience you can bring in and experiment with. And it's just, yeah, if we're just going to drop an anvil on your foot, well, your channel in this situation, <laughs> you're just you're just breaking your own toes <laughs> when you try to do anything extra. I just don't understand I, I don't understand YouTube's algorithm. I don't understand what they're trying to work for. And it's just a pain and extremely demotivating when that kind of stuff happens. So I know that this isn't really the most optimistic check-in video, but I, I just don't know what to do with this. I'm putting the information out there. I would love to hear what you guys think in the comments about this entire situation. And I'm kind of, to a certain degree, reevaluating what this even is. Twitch is going fantastically. And I know that most of you are probably not the same type of people that would enjoy Twitch. You are watching YouTube for a reason. And I understand that. And I'm not hoping to bring everybody over to Twitch and just shift the entire focus of what I do. I will always upload to YouTube. It's probably just going to be more infrequent when I do have really good Supreme Commander games. They're going to go on the channel, just same as always, but it might be every third day instead of every single day. I, I don't know what it's going to look like, um, but I do know that the portion of the community that is on Twitch has been massively, massively supportive and helpful of everything that's going on. And I hope that you can see that in some of the videos that are coming through. It has genuinely been a blast for me to explore this new avenue of streaming. And I say new, it's been like two years now that I've been doing it, but only about a year of it's been on Twitch exclusively, and the audience there is a very good one to interact with. I enjoy reading the YouTube comments and, you know, in, in answering and talking, but usually it's like a passing comment and I'll make a passing comment and we're done. Whereas there's a constant back and forth on Twitch that you just don't get in YouTube. And again, I know that's a difference in the type of people that inhabit each platform, but it, I don't know. It's, it's just very interesting. I, I think that's probably as much as I need to say about that topic because I think I'm starting to ramble a little bit. So as far as everything that's going on with me, I am overall pretty good other than my frustrations with YouTube right now. Um, and everything is going really well. I mean, 
I think the numbers that I gave y'all when I originally went full time was I needed 1100 a month to sustain myself for everything to be good. And right now I think I'm doing like 1300 ish, 1400 or so. Um, so I'm just over that goal. Things are comfortable. It's all going really well. And I'm eternally grateful to everybody that is involved with that. Whether you're subscribing on Twitch, whether you're using the links in the description to try to, uh, you know, shop through Amazon or do something like like that that gives me a little bit of kickback or being a patron or even just viewing because every person who is watching is pushing it that much further where when you do get engagement, when you do get people watching YouTube's hopefully, hopefully serves it out to more people and that is beneficial as well. I am just very grateful to everybody who is participating in this and helping me out and playing with me and it has just been the best experience with the community on Discord, YouTube, and Twitch. I'm going to sign out with that. I'm going to have to go get some lunch and then get ready to stream. I think we're doing Factorio today. so. Probably when you see this video, if you're watching it after it goes up, I'm live over on Twitch playing Factorio. So if you want to tune into that, I would love to have you over there. But for now, as always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting, and I will see you in the next one.